So I'm going to be um, showing you how I construct my cheese board today. So one of the things that's really, really important for me is the sort of um, ingredients. So you've, apart from your main cheese that you have, um, you've got to think about um, what other things that you can have with them. So usually you have a couple of chutneys um, or pickle. Um, you have something um, like fruit. Um, so you have, we usually have grapes. Um, so that will cleanse the palate as well when, when you want to taste another type of cheese. Um, you've got some um, meat, you've got some dried fruit, um, nuts and things. Um, some biscuits, well not biscuits but crackers. Um, um, so that, that's quite nice to have as well. Um, so these are the things that are the usual things that you have on a cheese board. So I'll, I'll tell you what I'm using on today's cheese board. So I've got red grapes, green grapes. Um, I've got some breadsticks, I've got some celery sticks here, so they're sort of lined up in a little glass like that. Um, and I've got jalapenos, and I absolutely love using jalapenos, they're such a big hit, um, especially if those who really love spicy, fruit, um, spicy food, so this is really um, sort of a, a good thing to have. I've got pineapple bits, cheese and pineapple does go. So I've just cut them up in little sort of um, cubes here. I've got black olives and green olives. I've got walnuts here, almonds here, and dried fig. I've got, might not be able to see, I've got salami here, two types of salami here. So um, to see what kind of salami flavours you like. You can use plain or you can use sort of, flavor, um, sort of with the uh, sort of herbs or something. I've got some crackers here. Um, I've got three types of crackers, um, some whole grain multi seeds. So these were really like a super hit when I used them before as well. I've got my two chutneys here that I'm serving up in these little petri dishes. Um, so this one's a mango and apple chutney and we've got a fig and date balsamic vinegar chutney. Sounds really cool. So, and, and I've got some I've got some pomegranate and some fresh fig here as well. And then I've got my cheese. So I've got the menthol cheese. And I've got um, this applewood cheese. Um, so that's quite nice. It's got a slightly smoky um, sort of uh, flavour to it. And it's sort of soft, not too soft. Um, we've got the brie cheese. We've got a nice stinky smelly cheese, which is a blue sultan. Um, and then I've got the Adam cheese. I might not use all of these cheeses on the cheese board, um, depending on um, how um, sort of how I feel, because I think one of the, the apple wood or the mums, or I might have to cut back on that, depending on the space I have. So, and then the most important thing is having your board. Now I've got this, wooden board here which is in a really lovely shape um, I used this or you might have seen on my other videos I use um, this long chopping board so this one if I've got like lots and lots of things um, like today um, I'll be using this so it's quite nice because it kind of takes up you can more people can get to it rather than having something round um, but that's how it feels and what I've done is these were dirt cheap, I got these from Pamela, these little frames. Um, I backed it up with paper, put a toothpick in it and I'll be putting these um, on top of the cheeses. And, and I've um, sort of um, wrote what each cheese is because it's nice to know what kind of cheese you're having, okay? So let's get going with assembling the board, okay? Right, so I always start off by placing my cheese first um, and then kind of just playing around with um, uh, what, what kind of position is the best. Um, I'm going to select the two, sort of, these are sort of semi-similar cheese, which is the menthol cheese and the Edam cheese. So I'm just going to place that sort of like that and then I'll place the, the, the brie here um, and then the taller one, the Stilton at the back and, and I'm going to place this like this. So now that I've placed my cheese in these um, in these positions, I'm going to start layering. Now I'm going to warn you that 
I'm just going to sort of move around things as I go along um, just to because sometimes they're not going to fit in okay so um, I'll put the I'll put in the grapes um, because that's quite a large product um, thing and we, we want some green grapes as well so for now I'm going to put them here but just remember that these could move and, and I could style them slightly differently in a minute as well so just in case you think oh she put it in a different position um, I'm just going to um, place the chutney here one chutney here so that's what I was going to do and one chutney here like that so just it's it's all about using your eye and just seeing what looks kind of pretty um i'm going to stack use these as a stackable um the way reason why i'm stacking them up today is because um i've got a lot of things so you might have to shift around a little bit just to make space for some of these um i like to add these um, rectangular um crackers just like these like that Okay, so I'm just going to start piling in. Um, right, okay, so I'm going to hit the, the, um, the salami now. Okay, so I'll roll these up. So what I like to do with the salami is I, I usually get a piece of salami and, and I just kind of roll it up like, like so. And then just put it in two spaces. Um, this is not a vegetarian friendly so I'll just sort of do it like this and and I'll I try to tend to use two types of salami um, so just for the color for the sake of color um, because um, and, and flavor and it's nice to have slightly you don't want to have just one sort of salami it's nice to have just two packets of salami is usually more So I'm going to put these pomegranate halves, no, not halves, quarters here. Um, I'm only using two today. Um, and then I've got these figs. I'm going to place them on top here, just like that. That should look quite pretty. Um, one's going to go here, and one's going to go here. Okay. Um, I, I do find when you um, quarter them or halve them, um, it depends on how... Um, it is um, to fit them in okay so I'm just going to stack some of these olives here I'm going to have to take them out of this bowl make sure you don't have too much um, liquidy things so I'm just going to pile on my nuts now um, if you've got anyone who's attending your party who's not got a nut allergy, so please do take care of that. So I'm just going to sort of scatter these nuts here. Um, not too many. I uh, was going to use these pineapples up because they're just so nice and, and I'm going to put them right at the front here.
And last but not least, I'm just going to put these on the side. Like that. So, uh, I'll try and squeeze that in so that you can see. Right, so here we have it. So I've made these little um, um, pegs, I could say, so to say which ones they are, so I'm just going to put this one in, in each of them, um, so like, like, like that, and the blue stilton will go like that, slightly firmer, and then here's your imam, so there we go, so that's my cheese board done, and I hope you guys like it.